Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is array the shuffle node. I fired up a quick little example here. Shuffle node itself is pretty, hopefully, self-explanatory. Basically, takes an array. It randomizes the values inside the, not the values, randomizes the order of the values in the array, and then adjusts the original array to the new order. So if we are going to go and look at our array here, we're going to see I set up pretty simple. I have it 0 through 5 and 0 through 5 for the index. That way we can match them up 1 to 1, and it's easy to see once we shuffle it. The shuffle node itself, you can access just simply typing in shuffle. It's going to be under Array Shuffle, or of course you can drag off and find the shuffle node. Now it is a wildcard node, which means it'll take any of your arrays. Once you put it in, it's simply going to adjust accordingly. Since there's no output, you really don't have to worry about anything. So let's go ahead and see this in action. If we hit play, I'm pausing before I do anything. This is going to let us look at our original array, and we can see it is in order. Zero, one, two, three, four, and five. I'll resume. We're now paused after our shuffle node, and let's look at the values now. We now have three, one, four, zero, five, and two. Remember, it's three, one, four, zero, five, two. Let's go ahead and run this again, and resume, and look at the values. Now it's one, two, zero, four, five, three. So they are different shuffled values. So that's it. That is all the shuffle node is for. It's intended to shuffle an array rather than having you manually reorganize or randomize it somehow, or even pulling out a random value. So you can think of it this way. If you have something that you want to be used in a random value, you can either take your array, get a value from it, get a random value, for example, a random integer in rain, take your int array again, get that, get the last index out of there, plug this into your max, plug this into your git, and now you're going to return back one valid entry from your array in a random order. Or you could just take your array, if you only intend on, for example, using every value once, shuffle your original array into a new order, and now you can basically just update your index. Get your first value after it's been shuffled at index zero. Next time you need a value, get the next value, get index one, and then repeat till you go through your entire array, and you've now gotten them all out in a randomized value without having to do all this extra mess. It's also nice to make sure if you only want to use something once after you've done this and shuffled it, after you've gotten a value out of it and you've used it properly, just remove that index, remove index zero. It's going to reorder back to the shuffled value. And now the next time you get zero, you're going to have your next random value. And it'll repeat over and over until you have no more random values or random objects or random whatever is in your array. So that's it. That's what our shuffle node is for. Nice, easy, simple node just to shuffle up your array. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.